Next up, we've got uh, Dave Smith, who's a former secretary of the uh, Blacklist Support Group and who boasts a Blacklist file himself running to about 30 pages. He's a militant in the construction industry and a trade union lecturer. And uh, uh, Dave's going to talk a bit about the uh, Unite walkout at uh, Moy Park in Portadown. I think what we've found in the last couple of days is uh, anyone who's an activist in the building industry or a branch secretary or a union rep is just getting inundated uh, with messages from workers, with the workers saying, we want to stop work, our family are concerned, we're concerned, but the employer is forcing them to come in. Um, and um, we've had you know, literally about, uh, today I've had about half a dozen people contact me who they've literally gone to their employer and said, look, I, I don't want to come in tomorrow. Um, because of it and they've been told well if you don't want to come in tomorrow you're sacked just pick up your tools and go um, and because of the uh, self-employed precarious nature of all the work in the construction industry uh, barely anyone is a direct employee um, so therefore much of the legislation doesn't actually uh, protect them um, the 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 section 44 stuff that people are talking about um, is useful um, but if an employer wants to sack people they can still sack people you, all the, the legislation allows is that you can at some point in the future go to an employment tribunal well that might be nine months in in, in the future so what we what would the, the, the legislation is really about is using it as a comfort blanket uh, for reps to be going around and talking to their members and encouraging them and saying look the laws on your side because if people think the laws on their side they're more likely to uh, uh, come together and do things collectively what we're seeing is if people do things individually we've got individuals standing up and you know sometimes uh, being sacked we had one uh, electrician in London who was uh, sacked for gross misconduct for putting out a tweet uh, about his building site that people weren't more than two meters away from each other so individual uh, people taking a stand is great but individuals most of the time are being sacked the way we've seen it work is where workers have come together collectively uh, and the reps have used the employment act not in order to threaten to go to court but to talk to the other workers and get them collectively to all go and meet the uh, uh, employer to collectively all meet the manager and the boss and I've certainly talked to some roofers uh, uh, a group of roofers uh, up in the northeast uh, who did that uh, and on other sides and there's a uh, there's a job in uh, in 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 Ireland uh, that you that, that unite the union have been involved in that have used the same legislation where 1500 workers uh, have walked out uh, uh, basically a coronavirus walkout um, and really I think that's the key now people are not going to do it spontaneously just because everyone's talking about it you know a hundred people 50 people are not all spontaneously going to go and talk to the uh, uh, manager it needs one or two activists in the workforce to almost be planting the seeds, to be going around, you know, even if we've got to do it by tweeting each other, you know, or, you know, doing small little uh, surreptitious conversations, you know, out of, out of the eye shot of the foreman, we need to be getting everyone together and then collectively going and talking to the, the blight. Solidarity with all the cook sisters and brothers anywhere who are doing this stuff, because it is difficult, but now's our time to step up. And along, you know, a bit of taking the lead, I think we'll have people follow us.